Hey folks, and welcome to World of Warcraft. It's actually originally going to be recording a different video here, related to the rep guide things I'm doing again. Um, just here in Sunstrider, I uh, welcome to Sunstrider Isle. I don't know why I called it that. Isle Quindanis. I'm never going to actually say that right. It's 10th anniversary. Yeah, well, sorry, 11th anniversary. We got some stuff in mail. Oh, that's what I had in the mailbox from previously. Alright. It's just something turned up in the mailbox during the World War II Draenor Let's Play. So, this is the anniversary gift for, well, it's 11th anniversary. I just, for prosperity or whatever, I decided, you know what, let's record this. Even if I never make it public, at least I'll have it, you know? Wow. Yet another year has gone by for wow. We wanted to thank you for continuing to play World of Warcraft with us, so here's an anniversary gift to go with your adventures, to the WoW Deck Team. I don't know, hold on to that. Even if I never look at it again, you know, what's a habit. Let's see what we get. Inventory is full. Actually, I saw these in earlier things um, from, like, someone else. Got this inflatable Thunder Fury Blessed Blade of Windseeker. And I didn't realize you got the rest with this, but it's disappointing how there is like, you know, limited charge on it. Here, I'll just, um, if I can spell, Deep Stalk. I suppose I could just toss that toy into my toy box. I'll leave it there for a moment. I think I have to re-record the footage of me getting it. Just something, you know, went wrong with it. If I remember correctly. An uh, exquisite costume set, Edwin Van Cleef. Dress up like Edwin Van Cleef. A celebration wand, no. Sorry, sorry, background noise. And this increases experience and rep gains from kills by 11%. For an hour and 10 second cooldown but it will disappear once this uh, 11th um 11 year celebration ends which we will in as of time of recording in just under two weeks oh that was close and a murloc Okay, let's see what what we get here. Sadly, these are all temporary. It would be nice to have one permanent gift. I think in the past we got permanent gifts, but I suppose if you don't use them, you get to hold on to them. But still, it would be nice to have, say... Like, wasn't there for the fourth one, a baby blizzard bear? That was nice. Okay, that's pr that's pretty badass. Like seriously, why can't we keep that as a permanent transmog? Did some did someone say? What did someone say? What? I, I don't get what that's a reference to. Uh, rock. It would have been badass if I was still had the sword with me. Oh, I was so hoping I could stay in Murloc on that. At least it, you can get mounted, transform back to whatever you were, and then de once you demount, you're back to being a Murloc. Let's see if we can fight with this. Then I'll dismiss it and go and see what it's like to fight with a sword. I'll just um, take that off. I'm going to kill these guys too quickly. Probably still will. Oh my god. That is awesome. Sadly you can't have Z and just have it them pull out their weapon. Yeah, sadly that won't work. But if you get into combat, they'll pull out Thunder Fury. Alright, that's cool. 
Let's have a look here. No. Let's see. I have actually both running at the same time. Isn't this like the Hogger's model? Let's check it out. Uh, I have to say, while I am disappointed that these have charges, and once they're, you, you know, run out, that's it, they're gone. And I'm disappointed by that. I have to say, I really do like them. Like them regardless. Wait, the stockades. Stockades got redone. But then again, here, these are in classic. Uh, yeah, like, okay, look here. Dead mines. That is not a classic instinct. Oh. Hmm. No, right, no. Anyway, dead mines isn't a classic. Is isn't a cataclysm instinct. It's a classic one. They get redone in cataclysm, but so did practically. So did a few of these to some ex to one extent or another. Like Shadow Fran got redone. Same like um, Dead Minds. Um, Maradon, I think that was messed with a bit. I honest, I don't think they were in the original. But it's been ages since they touched Maradon. Um, Number again, Number again has changed. You know, stockades. That has changed greatly. So it's, the layout is somewhat weird. But anyway, Hogger. Model. Yeah, we well, actually this is Hogger's model. He uses the same one as this. So basically, we're running around as Hogger, wielding thunder and a faithful thunder fury. That is pretty awesome. Now here's something with more charges. See me. That is cool. Kind of wish I got to hear his voice there because I think it's actually played his audio clip. I'm just going to fag it so I can actually hear myself. One sec. Hey, folks, and I'm back. Okay. I just realized I forgot to do one thing. Slash dance. Okay. Normal human dance. Actually, before I do the thing I want to do, let's go run around. Okay, I think he's normal human animations. So nothing special there. Yeah, as far as I can tell, it's a normal human, you know, human animations. He doesn't have anything special in that regard. Lap dogs, all of you. Lap dogs, all of you. I'm not sure if he said that because he dismissed it or what. Or was it, you know... I just dismissed it at the right time, like he was going to say another line in, like, say, three minutes. And right on the three-minute mark, I dismissed it. It could go out of way. Okay, we have to see Do Knowles dance. No! The answer is no. Aga refuses. Alright. Actually, I want to see, do, do they actually have a casting animation? They actually have a bit of one. To be honest, I never really noticed if Nulls have it. And to be honest, they're always melee, so... Not surprising I wouldn't notice it. But yeah, it's just a jet... It's, you know, slight, you know, the arms race type, but... Oh, self-repairing. Good for you. Alright, and let's dismiss that. Let's cast... Alright, that's cool. And once more for Prosperity, let's see a Murloc fighting with Thunder Fury. Okay, Murloc Divine Storm. Okay, I was hoping... I... 
for whatever reason, I for keep forgetting what Divine Storm actually looks like, what its effect. So I was expecting a bit more. I, I'll be honest, I really did not expect it to get this stuff in the post, in the mailbox. What well, was expecting this? Wasn't expecting anything else. I'm just gathering these because I might be able to make some money from the court. Court always sells, sells well. So anyway, this is the 11th anniversary stuff. Pretty cool, though I wish it was, you know, more permanent. And, you know, the best token I have of the 11th anniversary is these two. I, you know, unless achievements get wiped or, or something, you know, they're not going anywhere. Well, these could be lost or whatever could happen to them, you know. I could use them up. So. State your business. All right. I um. What am I gonna do now? I have no clue. Uh, let's just admire that sword a bit. You no. Know, the costume. Seriously, that is one cool sword. Might work someday and actually try and get Thunder Fury. Though, one sad point about it is, since it's legendary, you can't transmog anything else to look like it. So, that is somewhat disappointing. But, eh. It's not too big of a deal. It does look pretty cool, though, I have to say. Though, I'll be honest, I don't know if Thunder Fury looks exactly like this. I presume so, considering this is meant to be an inflatable Thunder Fury. But, hmm. For those who don't know what Thunder Fury is, it's the... I mentioned the Legendary in my Molten Core video. I'm not sure if which of these videos will be out first. But basically, um, in Molten Core, two bosses, Baron Geddon and Gar, if I remember correctly, I, I know for sure Bar it's Baron Ged and drops one part, and the other boss I think is Gar, but I'm not as sure. They drop like half an amulet each. Oh, what? But Gar drops the left half, ba the Baron drops the right half, or vice versa maybe. And you have uh, they've only like a three percent chance of dropping it, so it's very rare. But if you get both halves, you get a quest. That either directly leads you or eventually leads you to Sidilus, and in particular Northern Sidilus, to the Ravaged Twilight Camp. There's a cultist there that will like fix the amulet or whatever, and summon a level 60 raid boss, like some wind elemental. You defeat it, and you get a cool, a cool sword, Thunder Fury. Yeah, you have to run Molten Core many times to, you know, get it, though. So. Yeah. But of course, if it actually looks like this, it's worth it. But regardless, I sincerely hope you've enjoyed this, folks, and I sincerely hope you, you know, log in and get your own gifts for the 11th anniversary. Wait. I just thought of something. Log in. Let's, let's not have to wait those five seconds. You know, it's going to take longer for me to run up here than it would have been to log out there. I just realized something. When they send the mail, they send it to, you know, to everyone. Here, I'll log in as my rogue. I'll be getting back to playing as those characters eventually. Before I get back to playing them properly, I want to actually rename them. Realized it finally truly clicked with me. The, like, I saw the naming scheme uh, rules before, but, you know, I, you know, a lot of names actually still go against the naming rules. And it just kind of clicked, so I'm going to go rename them. Uh, I'm actually going to get some advice on, well, not advice, going to 
get my aunt to help with the naming. I'm, I'm not good good with you know naming characters. Monarch is the best I've, I've come up with by myself, without relying on ancient Greek uh, mi uh, myths or stories. You know, Dionysus, uh, Jocasta, and all that. Yeah, I don't think level 20 something is going to be dealing with the Dark Portal. Um, more of the drain or something, please. And then we open it, and we get the same gifts. So if you actually want to hold on to a lot of these, though the exquisite costume set Van Cle Edwin Van Cleef is so bad, as is its Inflatable Thunder Fury. The Celebration on Maroc and Null are bound to battle.net uh, battle count bound, meaning they're, they're basically attached to your battle.net account, not to your character in particular. So you could, I could send those two wands up here to Pauna if I uh, chose to do so. Maybe cur curious, maybe somewhat curious. As to what exactly I'm doing right now. While I'm talking, I'm gonna log into as many characters as possible and get all the items. <laughs> so. I sincerely hope you've enjoyed this video, folks. Oh, actually, I mentioned, you know, like the baby blizzard bear. I'll give you a look here uh, once I get in. Actually, one second. Hey, folks, and I'm back. Just have a look here. Uh, it's been ages since I've actually played this character, and now. Or she's in tanking spec. I think I actually have it intentionally as it. So sorry, I am misreading some of the both things here. I saw damage taken uh, reduced by ten percent. Then up here I saw damage done, but misread it as damage taken. So it's getting very confused. It's just like what's going on, but it's it's all good. Oh yeah, it's those. Uh, Sorceresses or mages or whoever walking around. So, uh, yeah, it's been ages since, since I've actually been on this character. Absolutely yonks. Um, this is my farming alt. I would tell from the Mammoth Mining Bag and the High Jaw Expedition Bag. I just have her gathering herbs and ore to sell. I haven't really done much with her since uh, Pandaria, though. Really need to, you know, if, if I want to make good money, I have to go level her up and all that. It's just, it's so boring. At least, at least if I was making a video out of it, that would be one thing. And I, I, I'll be blunt with you, I won't make a video of leveling her up because... I'm already leveling five characters, like well, four characters, and then when Legion comes out, it'll, my main character making it five. So, you know, I have enough going on in that front. I don't need another character. I've only so much time and recording space and all that. So. Gotta work with what you have. So yeah, I think I'm done here, folks. This is just me goofing off now. I was actually originally going to start off making this a video about um, those rep guides things I mentioned. I did them in the past, and I've wanted to start doing them again. Any I've done in the past will be redone. As I figured, you know, I'm doing them slightly differently now. Say if I would do uh, Hydraxian Warlords, which is one I've actually done, I'll be doing two versions of it. The first version being um, one second. I don't know why I keep taking the letter, but regardless, the first version being like the long version of of it, as in I run through all molten core, and in in the, the case of actually what I did, I also did the showed you what you have to do to be attuned to molten core, though I actually did take the wrong turn during the video. And when ended up in the wrong place. Uh, 
um, though I quickly raised myself and it was all fine. Well, the short, like, summary video is basically, I tell you a bit about Hydraxian Water Wards, tell you what you have to do to get to Exalted, and that's pretty much it. So, that's what this was actually originally going to be about. Just, like, basically, new series coming out, This is and this is what you expect from it. I felt really awkward about it, just did not feel right. Ooh, that's cool. Though I'm actually thinking I might make this a caster. I'm thinking... Whatever... Whatever way I looked, I thought they had an extra row of abilities on like my Paladin. It just seems longer, this list. Also, they have flavor text. At least on one of their abilities. It'd be nice if they added on more. Have we learned nothing from the sight of a loon? Uh, Renegade Druids have developed the ability Shapeshift into a half-man, half-cat. This alternate cat form allows the Druid the use of all non-damaging Druid spells while the Shapeshift and increases the versatility by 5%. Kind of useful. That way a cat, uh, Druid in cat form can still be a powerful you know, melee druid while being able to heal themselves. Which guild am, am I part of? Okay, that one. For a moment, I was... I got very confused and it was like, am I part of, you know, the... you know, the same guild as my bank alks? Or like, what's going on here? I was very concerned. Maybe very concerned it's overstating it, but you know, it's getting very confused. I am honored. Yeah. So I will get back to these at some stage. I just don't know when. I have to go record, uh, you know, these alts, Teresius, Dionysus, and all that. I have to get them renamed. And I have to... Record, you know, other series. Like, um... I have to get back to Mass Recall at some stage. I also have to, whenever it's fixed. I'm just waiting on that. I'm just gonna do a video explaining that in a second. So I'm waiting on that. I'm also waiting on... Sorry, I'm not waiting. After I edit and upload a ton of well videos I've recorded, like a few hundred gig of it, then I have to go record similar amounts of Witcher. Then I can start work and might be able to start working on these characters. So I want to make more progress and more to Draenor because on Wednesday, Tuesday probably for America, um, as of time of recording, I don't know when this will go up. Might try and intentionally put this up ASAP. Um, one second. Um, yeah, as of time recording, uh, Wednesday for uh, here in Europe, we'll be getting six point two point three, and in six point two point three, uh, heroic Archimon is getting a new drop, a mount, a stag mount. Actually, let's be totally accurate here. Archimon doesn't drop the mount. He drops an item that sends you to Moonglade that gives you the mount. Um, at, you know, at the end, end of the quest. Or quest chain, maybe. I'm actually not sure what it is. I just know you get a stag mount and apparently Legion for the, the foreshadowing for the Legion expansion. And I, and I really want to see that and I want to see the stag mount. It's also going to be removed when Legion rolls around. So... You know, if you if you wanted, you may want to get you know get, get ready for a heroic arc mod. So, the way I'm doing it is actually finishing off Black uh, Blackrock Foundry and then working my way up to heroic arc mod, running maybe out far a few times, then trying to get into a normal group. After getting to terms with normal, then trying a, a heroic. Probably just cut out a few steps there. I just want to. 
I just don't want to mess up, so I want to, you know, take it nice and slow. Though it does mean a few extra weeks. But regardless, that wasn't the point of this video. But when ever, do I ever stay on point? I don't know. Anyway, folks, I sincerely hope you've enjoyed this regardless. I'll see you next time. And be sure to go get your inflatable Thunder Fury and Bankweef uh, cosplay outfit. Talk to you next time, folks. You know, I would so have loved if it was a Murloc and Null dancing animation. That would have been awesome. Like, seriously. So, folks. Adios. Hey, folks. I just realized I was actually in the middle of editing. Never actually showed you the mount. Also... Didn't I get this? I am shocked I didn't get that. You really think I would have? You know? Did enough work with the Origin Tournament, you would have thought I would have done it. But regardless. Uh, baby Blizzard Bear, this is what the pet looks like. It's cute. Baby Wizard Bear, and I'll read its text now. Actually, one second. Hey folks, and I'm back. Sorry about that. Baby Wizard Bear. This rare bear is bred for its small size and perpetual youthful appearance. It gets bite, bash, maul, roar, hibernate, and call blizzard. It deals 118 elemental damage and causes a blizzard for 9 rounds. During a blizzard, all pets are considered chilled. Makes uh, you know, on Schwarzenegger kind of puns, you know, that kind of thing. Chilled. Oh God, that I could do that. Ter I could do that brilliantly before, but I just uh, in recent years I just can't do that voice right. It just, eh, uh, just comes out horrible. Yeah, I'm actually tempted to just fuck it, re-record. Christ, that was atrocious. So, anyway. Yeah, just wanted to show you the baby blizzard bear. Also, look at this little cute one I got um, more recently in my videos. I hope I didn't lose the footage of this. I recently lost, like, record I tried to record three hours of footage the other night. Ended up pausing the video after the first hour and me, then I forgot to turn the video back on for the next two so I'm not sure when I got this but I got it a vengeful attack that deals beast damage equal to the last hit taken by the user hmm. interesting but anyway folks I just wanted to show you the baby blizzard bear. I'll be back soon to record more. Talk to you then. Adios.